Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Practical Reefer, my name is Mark. Um, so today I'm just going to give you a little overview of Serith snails. Now, I kind of skimmed over them when I was doing all my research for my setting up my 20 gallon tank. Um, so I, I very, very much wanted the, the Trochus snails. When you go online and read about them, it's probably sort of number one snail. Um, they're pretty much they're, they're really good eaters and they'll breed in your tank. And Hermits will, will have a hard time of uh, giving them abuse as well. But when I went to my LFS and my ugly stage had already started, um, I had brown diatoms all over the tank and the, the green hair algae was starting to grow as well. Um, I went to my LFS and they didn't have any trochus snails. So I had a chat with the guy in the store and he said I've got the, uh, the serith snails here. So these are needle serith snails. Um, and obviously he advised me that they were they're good little snails and they, they'll do a bit of everything. Now, Kind of very similar, similar. I kind of had a look on uh, Algae Barn's website as just a, a bit of reference to get a bit more information for myself as well. Um, and they're very, very similar to Trochus snails and what they can do. Now both Trochus snails and Serith snails um, will eat sort of uh, diatoms and cyano better than most other snails. Um, and they'll also eat sort of hair and film algae and detritus. And uh, the Serith will eat particles off of the, the sand bed or in the sand bed as well. Um, what I find as well though with the serif snails, they're actually a little bit smaller. So say this one that's on the, the rock work here, he's actually come through the little hole at the back, um, which is quite a tight little space, and then come through and start working on this piece of rock. There's nowhere in my tank that the serif snails can't go. Um, so they're, they're pretty good like that. They have got caught a couple of times, there's, there's a couple of little gaps um, where they've managed to get themselves wedged, so I do have to keep a little eye on them on occasion. Um, they will breed in your tank as well, so I've got myself 10 in here, so hopefully at some point they'll start to breed if there's enough food for them and they're, they're, they're um, happy enough. Um, what you also won't quite see is at the back here, there's one on the sand bed, um, you just see in the reflection of the glass. But actually further forward and tighter into this rock, there is one of my serif snails is basically totally submerged in the sand, I can just see the top of his shell. I'll show you that in a, a little minute. Um, but yeah, great all round snails, they'll eat pretty much everything. Now I was maybe a little bit late in putting them in, so some of the green hair algae has already started to sprout and it's, it's got a bit of length to it. So, But any of the small bits that are starting to appear on the rockwork, they're, they're dealing with that. So there doesn't appear to be any more green ha hair algae coming, but I think when it's uh, when it's a couple inches long, then it's a bit, bit too late for the service to deal with that. But absolutely great. It's kind of the the poor man's trochus snail I would say, but I think there's benefits in the fact that they're smaller, they can get into more places and get into all the little details. And they've absolutely, I mean, this rock work was completely brown um, a couple of weeks ago, and they've absolutely done a great job of, of putting it back almost to white. There's a few spots there, but um, that's great, I'll keep feeding them. And um, they'll also, they'll go in the glass as well, um, and the sand bed, the rock work. So the, the glass probably isn't maybe their favorite place, but I'll zoom in and I'll, I'll let you see them all. Um, they also like the occasional pull up, um, I've got a little video of one doing it, almost like a little pull up on, under the arch there, I'll show you that in a second, but I'll zoom in and I'll let you see them. So here we are guys, the, the rockwork in my tank was going all of this brown, or the all of the rockwork was going to this brown colour. Now especially up here was very very brown. Um, this rock work as well, you can see there's, there's still little patches on it, but they have made a really, really good job of cleaning it up. Haven't quite touched the longer sort of green algae there. Um, you can see it there, there's a couple of patches, but they have, there's my tail spot plenty. Um, they really, really have, this is sort of the last untouched bit, which I did try to put some of them off, but they actually kind of rolled off when I, I tried to get them on some of the little ledges and then let them set off, but a few of them rolled off of there, because um, that, was, that was my worst affected bit. And they've kind of they've come to it last, but absolutely you can see the total difference where um, you know there's some brown under the the green hair algae there that I've got, or the the, the green no sorry the green bush macro algae that I've got, um, but yeah they definitely they're making a huge difference. A lot of this rock was all brown, and this piece was all brown as well. So they have made a really really good uh, good go at it. Just missed some of the bits in the middle because they just kind of meander wherever they want to go, but really really good um they are going up on the glass as well they're not really big on the glass and i have kind of left the algae a little bit for some food for them um although saying that there is one on the glass right now having a go but it's not probably their favorite um their favorite place to go um they definitely do like the rock work 
and they're very very happy on the sand bed and uh, back to that one um, digging about in it as well so that's just them there in the tank quite surprisingly as well guys they do also like a little dig in the sand bed now this is not the first time I've seen uh, these little cells digging away I've had a few that they've, they've popped along into the bottom here and along there and I think this one's just doing the sand bed just now but yeah they definitely go for a maybe not a deep dive I've seen some of them pretty much just disappear under the surface um, but yeah they, they do dig into the sand bed as well probably will st still get a couple of Nasaria snails but um, it's a pretty good all-round snail I would say this one as well guys he's uh, I think he's been over and given the GSP a little bit of a clean or at least knocked it with his shell but uh, it's closed up it's opening back up now but yeah great little snails I hope you enjoyed the video guys give me a little like and subscribe below give me a little comment if you used the Cerith before what do you think of them any any good or bad points but let me know below and I'll catch you all next time